stator was never indexed, um, to my knowledge. And so when we used to get a question, I mean, if we didn't know the date, it was almost impossible, even, you know, sort of ballpark date. Once you knew the date, you literally had to sit at a table with one of these volumes and flip through the pages. It's kind of a preservation issue with newspaper in particular. Um, newspaper gets really brittle over time. So by digitizing this and putting on, up an online archive, um, we're kind of saving the original print. Look at a project like this, which is massive, it's pretty impressive that you can do keyword searching. So you can put somebody's name in, um, or an event you knew happened. I think alumni in particular are, are sort of using it as like, you know, walk down memory lane. My grandfather worked here from the 1940s to the 70s, so I found some photos of him. He um, started the first computer lab on campus, so they were pictures that no one in my family had ever seen before. We had an alum who wanted to know um, when he was in school, there was this place in town that served this thing called the Garbage Burger. It was almost something like you'd have to just talk to somebody who lived in Kent at the time. We found this article that was all about the Garbage Burger, passed that on to the alumni office, and they could, you know, tell this alum we had remembered this little piece of trivia from his time at Kent. One thing that it's really done for us is it allows us to show the journalists now what we did then. And it's especially important for any time there was something large happening within the country, nationwide, worldwide, or even just the campus. Kent State has a national presence. Not only is that something in terms of research, but we have a place in the history of the country um, because we are the site of the Kent State shootings in 1970. You'll find references to little protest events or different things that happen on campus. And a lot of times you don't know the date the stator, I can do a search in that and I can find it probably in five minutes. And in the past, that kind of research could have taken you easily hours to complete. It's our longest publication that we've had. It's basically more than 90 some years. This is just another good asset for us to have to showcase the stator and the work that's been done. <music>